welcome back to my channel it's your girl haven mckay and today we are discussing business we're not here to play today so i just recently got accepted into georgia southern's nursing program and i thought why not come on here and give you guys some helpful tips on how to get into a nursing program in georgia i can only speak for georgia because that's where i'm at so let's just get into this video the first tip is make sure you know which test your school accepts so every school in georgia has two different entrance exams hesse and tees for georgia southern we take the hesse that's why i have this handy dandy hesse review book right here so since i've only attended georgia southern i can only speak from my perspective and my experiences so some things I have a little bit of information about, like I know every school in Georgia requires two entrance exams. It's either going to be HESI or TEAS. So right now I'm only going to speak for HESI because that's the only exam I've dealt with and the only exam that I've taken. And also for the HESI, they recommend this book. If they recommend it, you buy it. Also for the T's, like I said, I can't speak for the T's, but I'm pretty sure they recommend, you know, some type of study guide for that. If they recommend it, buy it because I'm, I guarantee you it will help you prepare and be ready. But I'm also going to include an image somewhere in the video that has a list of different schools in Georgia with the test that they require and the minimum score that you have to make. Basically, the minimum score that is acceptable for that school. So I just feel like that's an important tip to know because it's an entrance exam. So in order to be accepted into the school, you have to take the exam. So there's no limitation. You don't have to limit yourself to just taking the HESI or just taking the T's. You can take both or you can take one of the other, but you also have to be mindful of what schools accept what tests. I'm actually going to include a link down below in the description box. So make sure you guys look at that if you are interested. If you are interested in applying to Georgia Southern specifically, because this is the link to their website for the HESI exam, make sure you do well in prerequisites, especially science courses, and don't be afraid to ask for help. So if you don't know, prerequisites are courses that are required for whatever your major is. So an example would be, since I'm a nursing major, I take a certain list of courses that are required specifically for my major. A business major, they would take courses that are specifically required for their major. Some of the classes may be similar, like art or things like that, but then when it comes to like sciences, I may take more sciences. When you apply to nursing schools, they pay attention to your GPA and they pay attention to your score on your entrance exam. Like I just mentioned, the HESI and the T's. So you wanna make sure that those things are both very good so that you can be a strong applicant. So back to what I was saying about the GPA, just make sure that you do well in all of your prereqs just because, you know, even if it is an art class, if you do good in it, it can contribute to making your GPA stronger. Even though it isn't, you know, something that they mainly focus on, it can help your overall GPA. And I, the reason why I emphasize to do good or to do very well in your science courses is because those are courses that they will pay attention to. If they look and they see that you may have failed or you made a C, I'm not saying that doesn't make you a good applicant, but you want to try your best to pass and to score very high. And if you are struggling, so in courses like that, I've had to go to office hours, email professors, and just go the extra mile to make sure that my grade is where it needs to be. Don't beat yourself up if your GPA or HESI score isn't as high as your peers. This is a really important tip because I should not beat yourself up if your GPA or your entrance exam scores is not where you want it to be, you know, because you can always improve. You have time. So I just feel like, and you know, don't compare yourself to other people. You know, some people 
who will do really good and some people who will make it seem so easy and it's not always like that for everyone i know in some courses i struggled in and a lot of people are just like oh it was so easy for me like oh and it's just like okay well you can't listen to that you have to shut all that outside noise out and just focus on you because the moment that you start worrying about what somebody else got going on you're losing just focus on you just worry about what you have going on because that will help you get better but i would just say don't even worry about the numbers just try your best to make it as high as you can if you can reach and aim for a 4.0 get that 4.0 don't don't let people put numbers on you don't let people tell you what they think a good gpa should be as long as you try your best that's what your gpa should be because you don't want to feel like you're not doing good or you don't want somebody else being like oh well i have a three nine and then you have a three four so you're like oh well maybe i shouldn't apply no still apply still go for it make sure you communicate with your advisor so that you're taking all the right courses you do not want to waste your time or your money that is a very important tip so basically like i said when you start taking classes you will meet with an advisor who will tell you the courses that you need to take for the semester and they will also tell you like the courses that you will be taking throughout your whole undergrad career and if they don't tell you all of if they don't it's called a degree plan well at least at georgia southern it is and basically that's just like i said all the courses you will be taking throughout your undergrad career from start to finish and if you know you go to a college and your advisor does not give you that after you know your meeting like if they don't send you a follow-up email with all of your information and things like that to register and like you know just like i said the courses that you will be taking throughout the whole experience make sure that you point that out to them like, let them know like okay well do you have like a map of all the courses that i will be taking and they will give it to you and i'm telling you that just so that even when you do register for classes or even when you do have an advisement meeting if they suggest classes to you you will already know what classes you need to take so even if you cannot get into a class that semester you know that there are other classes that you can take to you know what i'm saying just until you can take the other classes you just don't want to take unnecessary classes you don't want your advisors to be giving you unnecessary classes I haven't had that problem, but I've heard people have had problems like that. So it's just best for you to know so that you don't have people playing with your money. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to waste my time taking unnecessary classes when I could have just been taking the classes that I needed to take. I have, there are other alternatives. And what I mean by that, if you go to Georgia Southern, or I'm pretty sure any other school, they have like a military program that you can get into. At Southern, it's ROTC. I was in ROTC for a semester, and the reason why I joined was because they they told me that if you are in ROTC and you're on the nursing track, they have a certain amount of seats in the nursing program that are saved for people in ROTC, if that makes sense. And I'm going to explain. So basically, at Georgia Southern, specifically, they don't let a lot of people in each semester for their program. If you're in ROTC, some of those seats are basically like reserved for people in ROTC. And then the rest of the seats are for anybody else who apply, who applies. So I'm just giving that as an alternative just because, you know, if you have a good GPA and you, you know, and you want to go into the military that can help you get into the program and yeah you have to also take into account your HESI scores too but you know what I mean like in a way I want to say it's easier because when you in ROTC you got to put in that work but in a way seats are kind of like reserved for you if you're doing what you need to do so that's just another alternative and also for ROTC if you're doing good and you end up getting contracted they'll pay for you to go to school which will also help you save money that you could you know be keeping in your pocket for when you go for when you get accepted into the nursing program so that's just also something to consider if you are already like interested in enlisting or if you're already interested in the military or you know if you just want to experience it and see if you enjoy it and then i say go for it just because if you don't like it you can leave like i did 
no offense or nothing like that but y'all got it the military is just not for me so yeah that's just another tip contact advisors at the schools you are interested in to get helpful information i just feel like this is a really good tip just because like i stated earlier in the video schools in georgia that have nursing programs they all have the the entrance exam that they want you to take and with that entrance exam you know let's say you go to georgia southern we require we require hesse let's say you want to go to augusta university they will require you to take the t's it's two different tests so two different schools so i'm pretty sure they have some other differences that you may want to know about so that's why i say like it's important to just reach out and you know contact the financial aid office or any advisors at their school just to see like is there anything else that you may need to know so when you're reaching out to these other schools you can be asking them questions like you know what are their deadlines for their application what courses you need to take if you are considering transferring from georgia southern to there it just helps to know these things ahead of time instead of waiting last minute and then next thing you know their deadline is like a day away keep in mind that when you take courses if you plan on transferring like going to a different school and applying to a different nursing program make sure that you know what courses they require for their program as well because not just because it's a school in georgia and just because it's a nursing program doesn't necessarily mean you will take all of the same courses i also just feel like you should have an idea on when you would want to start the program just because that will help you with saving and it's just always good to have a plan even if you are a traditional student it's good to have a plan just because the school you may be at right now will be it could potentially be different from the school that you are thinking about transferring to or you know you should just have a plan on what you want to do and how long it's going to take you to do it for a school like georgia southern i applied in spring semester january and i was accepted like a few months later and so for our school you apply and you are accepted within the same semester and then you start the following semester so since i was accepted in spring of 2021 i will start in fall 2021 now for a school like kennesaw and i only know this because my friend goes to kennesaw and she's also a nursing major she applied in spring 2021 she wouldn't start the nursing program until spring 2022 so for her school it takes them a whole year to start for my school we start immediately basically so that's just important to know just because you know what are you going to do within that spare time if you were to go to a school like kennesaw not saying every school in georgia is like that or every school every other school in georgia is like that but some schools are so it's just important to have a plan and know you know do i want to start the program immediately would i want to wait a whole year what would i do within that time if i were to wait in every school they just have their different requirements so it's just important to know and have a plan and just be on top of it another tip i have is apply to more than one school even if it's not in georgia okay like i said i applied to three different schools yeah you just do not want to put all of it it's that simple you do not want to put all of your eggs in one basket like i said this is very a very competitive field you know so you don't want to think that oh i'm all good because I got a 3.6 and I scored a 78 on my Hesse. And I'm not saying that's bad for anybody out there if that was you. You know, I'm not mad. I'm not hating. But it's still good to apply to other schools just because you never know. The school you apply to, they standards might be a little high. So you don't want to be denied. And now it's like, dang, what I'm going to do? Like all these deadlines coming up. That's why I say it's important to contact other schools because you can ask when their nursing application deadlines are. So you're not, you know, looking crazy when you miss a deadline and now it's like, oh, well, I don't have no other options or everybody deadlines are closed. So now I can't even go to nursing school until next year. You know what I mean? So it's just important to do that and communicate. So, yeah. And also don't forget about the tech schools in Georgia. You know, even though they aren't like your traditional school, tech schools 
it's still a degree you still can you know what i'm saying go to nursing school you still can be successful okay and this is my last tip try your best to stay on top of your gpa in all courses try not to fail any classes especially science now i know i kind of already told you to try your best but i just wanted to make that my last tip just because that's all we can do is try our best and i understand school is not easy for everyone and it's not even easy for me but you just have to try one thing that i learned about college it's not necessarily about how smart you are it's about how much effort you put in so i get it like if you fail a course it's okay don't feel like you know what i mean you still can't apply but i'm just saying try with everything in you try your best not to fail a science course or any course try your best not to fail any course you know what i mean because like i said earlier all of this will contribute to your gpa and make you a better candidate it will make you stand out from the rest. It will make you, it, it, like, I don't, do I even have to finish saying what I'm saying? Just don't play with these people when it comes to their GPA. You gotta give blood, sweat, and tears, cause I sure did. I cried every other week my freshman year. And now look at me. But yeah, like I said, just try your best to stay on top of all of it. And it's a lot. And I'm not even gonna sit here and try to tell y'all, it's not that, it's a lot. It's a lot mentally, um, physically. But like I said, if you want it, you will do it. You will make it happen. I think that this is it for this video. And this was fun talking to y'all about this. Like, but let me know if you guys wanna see more videos about this. This is about to be my life for the next two years. And then after I graduate, I'm gonna be real certified. But let me, <laughs> but, um, and also just comment down below. Let me know if there's anything else that y'all want to see, even if it's not related to nursing, just anything. Give me the tea, like, let me know what's up because y'all be scared to comment and I don't like that. But yeah, comment, like, subscribe. And I think that's all for today. Business meeting adjourned. See you guys in the next one.